Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes located on the Big Island of Hawaii, erupted on June 7. Eruptive activity is confined to Halamomo Crater within Kilauea's summit caldera within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. You are watching Travel Trek TV. This video, captured by the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory's V1 camera on the northwest rim of the caldera, shows the opening phase of the eruption. A lava fountain bursts from a vent in the central part of the crater floor and lava floods the surrounding area. The eruption at Kilauea's summit is occurring within a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and high levels of volcanic gas are the primary hazard of concern. Many people believe that Kilauea is the home of Pele, the Hawaiian volcano goddess. Hawaiian chants and oral traditions tell in veiled form of many eruptions fermented by an angry Pele before the first European, the missionary Reverend William Ellis, saw the summit in 1823. The caldera was the site of nearly continuous activity during the 19th century and the early part of the 20th century. Kilauea ranks among the world's most active volcanoes and may even top the list. Here we see that low fountaining has been active where lava upwells into Halamaumau Crater, at the summit of Kilauea. This beautiful video shows a series of small fountains in the southern portion of the crater floor. 99% of the gas molecules emitted during a volcanic eruption are water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide. The eruption temperature of Kilauea lava is about 1170 degrees Celsius, 2140 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of the lava in the tubes is about 1,250 degrees Celsius, 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. The tube system of the latest eruption episode carried lava for 10 kilometers, or 6 miles, from the vent to the sea. On June 8, 2023, the summit eruption continued in the Halamomo crater of Kilauea volcano with several lava fountains active as seen in this day after video. These lava fountains are covering much of the western portion of the crater. The area of active lava has diminished since the initial eruption along with lower lava fountains activity. Even as lava fountains from the erupting Kilauea volcano continue reaching heights of up to 30 feet, Hawaii tourism officials urged visitors to be respectful when flocking to Hawaii Island to get a glimpse of one of the world's most active volcanoes. The camera that witnessed the initial eruption was exposed to extreme heat and had to be relocated via helicopter and scientists on the ground in order to gain a new perspective on this amazing event. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory lowered Kilauea's alert level from warning to watch because the rate of lava input declined and no infrastructure is threatened. The eruption activity is confined to the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Out of respect for the cultural and spiritual significance of a volcanic eruption and the crater area for many native Hawaiians, the Hawaii Tourism Authority urges mindfulness when planning a visit to the volcano, the agency said in a statement. For many native Hawaiians and volcanic eruption has a deep yet very personal cultural significance. Some might chant, some might pray to ancestors and some might honor the moment with hula. Native Hawaiians ask that people keep a respectful distance. Kilauea has a history of eruptions, with the most notable eruption occurring in 2018 when lava flows destroyed hundreds of homes and reshaped parts of the island's landscape. The current eruption serves as a reminder of the inherent geological activity in the region and the need for preparedness and resilience among residents. As the situation evolves, local authorities and scientists will continue to work together to mitigate the risks posed by the Kilauea eruption. The well-being and safety of residents and visitors remain the top priority as Hawaii navigates this volcanic event. That's all for now. We hope this video has educated and informed you. Please like and subscribe to our channel for much more. Thanks for watching Travel Trek TV.